Good morning, everybody. How is everybody today? Buenos dias, amigos. ¿Cómo están? All right, what are we going to start with? Remember our shoe fly hello song? Okay, ready? It goes, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Are you ready to have some fun? Stand up and turn around and sit back down in your chair. Give me a great big clap. Now fold your hands in your lap. Good job. And the next, I love you ritual. All right, get your fingers out for the little finger. See if we can remember from yesterday. Ready? But we start with our pinky. This little finger went to school in a car. This little finger rode the bus, beep, beep. This tall finger rode her bicycle, and this one chose to walk. And this thumb lived so far away that it had to go up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down, up and around to get all the way inside. You can even make your spool over here, right? Inside the spool. Okay, the book I have, the story I have to read to you today is a really fun story called Cuckoo. It's a colorful story. It is. And in Spanish, what does it say? Cuckoo. Mm -hmm. Cuckoo. Oh, it says it's pronounced the same. Oh, look at these. Look at all of this. <gasps> look what it says. You see, Miss Vicky? Oh, yeah. <laughs> estrella, yeah. It says estrella, star, right? These are all little, it looks like little ornaments. They're super cute. All right, here we go. Cuckoo was beautiful. The trouble was she knew it. See the bird? There's her eye and the beak. She's flying. Cuckoo's pretty, caught one parrot. Pretty lazy, said the others. She never helps us collect seeds and she's stuck on herself. All day long, Cuckoo flew and sang, cuckoo, cuckoo, pretty, sweet, sweet, sweet. Flowers opened to her lovely song. Roosters nearby stopped crowing and dogs forgot to bark. But even the sweetest th song can turn sour. Shoo, cuckoo, we're tired of you and you're singing too, cooed the doves. Those are the doves. Cuckoo, stop singing, go to sleep, hooted the owl. He was the bird boss. Early tomorrow, we will start our seed collecting. Each year after the field plants dried, the birds collected beans and corns and pepper and squash and tomato seeds and dropped them on Mole's Hill. Those seeds would be planted later to grow food for another season. You can kind of see the owl over here. What else can you see on this page? There's some birds. How many birds can you find on this page? Oh, there's one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the birds fell asleep dreaming of seeds. Even the owl was napping. There he is, all the birds, they're dreaming. And what's this in the middle? See it? It's the moon. Cuckoo soon got bored singing to herself. As she dipped down her branch, something red flickered through the trees. What's that? She muttered. Some flashy new bird. Better chase it away. Hmm. But it wasn't a bird. It was a field fire. Mo was out. He had smelled the smoke. 
As Cuckoo flew from the woods, Mulch shouted, can you save the seeds? Pointing to his tunnel. He said, you can drop them here. So there's the mole and he's talking to the cuckoo bird saying, can you save the seeds to drop them in here? I think she will. Do you think cuckoo is going to save the seeds? Thumbs up if yes. Thumbs down if no. She's not going to save the seeds. Hmm. Let's see. There was no time to wake the other birds. Red flames were licking higher and higher, coming closer and closer. I think she's going to. What do you think, Miss Vicky? I think so. I hope she does. That would be very so, nice. Yeah, that would be. So Cookie, Cuckoo began. It was a hot and scary job. Her rainbow feathers became scorched from fire. Her eyes flame red from smoke. See? But she has the seed, so we were right. She is doing it. From the fiery fields to the cool woods, Cuckoo flew, carrying seeds to the mole's tunnel all night long. At sunrise, Cuckoo dropped the last ear of corn down Mole's tunnel. Tired but happy, she started to sing. But Cuckoo, Cuckoo was all that came out of her smoky throat. The birds woke up to Cuckoo's raspy cry. They gasped when they saw the blackened fields. The seeds were gone. No seeds left to plant meant no food for later and they saw the scorched bird circling from above. Is that you, Cuckoo? called the doves. The birds waited for the cuckoo to land. When she told them that the seeds were safe, they all clapped their wings and they all agreed in the end. You can't tell much about a bird just by looking at its feathers, right? Cuckoo was a very nice bird. The end, right? Cuckoo was a very nice bird. He saved everybody, right? He saved everybody's food or she, right? Saving yeah. them. That is so interesting. And later on, I think we're going to cut out different shapes to make a cuckoo bird. Hmm. What, what kind of shape would you need for the nose? You could do a triangle, right? Like a beak. Look at all the shapes. What kind of what kind of shape does she have for her head and her eye? A circle. circle, a circle. She has other shapes that they cut out. She cut out like V little mountains or V shapes for the wings. And her legs are like long ovals. We'll have to see what we can do. There are lots of shapes in that book. I know there are. We'll have to look at them in a little while, okay? We'll see you later to look at our shapes for our birds. Let's sing. See you later. See you later. See you later. When we meet again. See you later.